Welcome to a top 10 favorite Generation 1 Pokemon list. For this list, I will be focusing mostly on design, majesticness, powerfulness, nostalgia, emotional attachment, artwork, cards, sprites, and anime. There won't be any legendaries on this list because I'm not sure if I want to make a legendary Pokemon list later in the future, and since this is my first one, I also won't be featuring Pikachu. This is basically my opinion on when I played the game, uh, like the first one all over again, the ones that scream out to me, oh, I would like to be on your team, and the ones that just reminisce me back to my childhood. So, for the 10th spot, I decided to put Pidgeot. Pidgeot's a really cool Pokemon. It's one of the first ones you run into in the grass area, and it could possibly want to be one of your first Pokemon you ever catch. And its shiny is also really good in Pidgeot form, and in Oras, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I think Pidgeot got a really neat Mega. I haven't even played Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphires because I'm poor right now, I don't have any money, and I'm also in college and I'm trying to study, and I also lent my Game Boy to my boyfriend because I can't, I just keep playing Pokemon and I'm not doing my homework, so right now this is kind of what I'm doing to cure my Pokemon frenzy craze. So on my ninth spot, I decided to put Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff's a really cute Pokemon. There's something about the design that's really interesting, and it's still really, really cute to, through the test of time. I really wish Wigglytuff could get a Mega, and it probably end up with being a Fairy, or something along that line. And who knows what the future holds for Wigglytuff. On eighth spot, I decided to put Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's a really cool Pokemon, and sometimes I get compared to looking like Mr. Mime, mainly because he's got that, like, Edward Scissorhands looking thing going on, but Mr. Mime's a really cool Pokemon, and I also have uh, an emotional attachment to it because I tried to get a, mis a shiny Mr. Mime, and I got a Mime Jr. using this, like, Game Shark thing, and I leveled it up, leveled it up, and I didn't realize that you needed to give Mime Jr. love for it to evolve, and it ended up getting, becoming a level 100 Mime Jr., and I was like, no, Mr. Mime, I never got my Mr. Mime. So on my seventh spot, I decided to put Snorlax. Snorlax is a pretty pivotal Pokemon. You have to run into Snorlax in order to pass the game. You have to find the Poke Flute in X and Y in order to pass the game. And he's just a super cool Pokemon. I think people overlook him, but he gets a really cool move pool like Hyper Beam, Fire Blast, and all those kinds of good stuff. And he can just tear, and tear the house down. And he's a pretty good tank. And Snorlax is just really, really cute. He's always sleeping all the time. And... Who doesn't love pet cats? For my six, six spot, I decided to put Rapidash. Rapidash is a really, really cool unicorn, and especially in the anime, in the intro, you see Ash Ketchum riding Rapidash, and you're just like, oh my god, I want one of those. But then you wonder, how is he riding that Pokemon? Because he can get on fire. But maybe it doesn't burn him. Or maybe because it's a cartoon, and fire doesn't have any logic. And for fifth spot, I decided to put Starmie. I like Starmie because it's a really, really neat Pokemon. It's got a really interesting design. It's relatable and unrelatable at the same time. It's kind of alien, but at the same time, just unique. This weird water starfish. And also, it's got sparkles all over the place. You know, even in the anime, when Misty would use it, there were sparkles everywhere. And in, I guess, like, meta gameplay or whatever, uh, it got it gets a lot of speed. And I tried to do, like, a, a ranking battle with it, but I didn't do very well because I didn't know the rules very well. But anyway... I had a shiny Starmie, and Starmie's dope. For fourth spot, I decided to put Vaporeon. Vaporeon is a really cool evolution, and out of the three evolutions, it's one of my favorite evolutions, because it's a water cat, and it looks like a mermaid, and I think one of Misty's sisters had a Vaporeon, and I like Vaporeon. For the third spot, I chose a starter, and the starter I chose was Venusaur, because Venusaur is the flower Pokemon that was supposed to be in Pokemon Green, and we never got Pokemon Green over here. We got Pokemon Blue. So I like Venusaur because I always wanted a Pokemon Green. And if you want a Pokemon Green, you can go to 8-Bit Aesthetics. And they're making custom version Pokemon Greens. But it's like $70 because it comes with a painted game cartridge and a Venusaur sticker. And like, I don't know. It's basically a ROM hack. But it's really expensive. And I really want to get one. And I probably would like to do like an American Let's Play. But I would need to get a camera. Anyway, back to Venusaur. Uh, it also got a Mega Evolution, and it's got a flower on its head and a flower on its butt now, the Jungle Vines. And I really like Venusaur a lot because he just seems like a really cool, flowery dinosaur. For second place, I chose Persian because I like cats. 
and cats are really cool and if you could tell maybe in future uh, videos that I'll probably be choosing a lot more cats but Persian is one of the best generation one cats and it's the villains cat and it always reminded me of Austin Powers Mr. Bigglesworth but anyway uh, minus that it's got a jewel on its head and back in the day it had really cool powers because its speed was really high and it would get like better critical hit ratio land hits or whatever and now they changed it up but I don't know, Persian's really cool. And for first spot, I decided to choose Vileplume. The reason why I chose Vileplume in the first spot and didn't put it in a lower spot is because when I was making this list, I already knew which Pokemon or some of them that I was going to put in the list, but I wasn't for sure on all of them. And one of the ones I knew for sure was going to be on the list was Vileplume. And I like Vileplume because it was Erica's Pokemon in the video game. And back in the day, it also... Uh, was featured in some of the cards, Erica's Vileplume and the manga. And I just really liked not only Erica and the Rainbow Badge, but I just liked Vileplume. And in second generation, it gets another branch evolution with a Sunstone and becomes Blossom. And I don't know, there's just something about the design. It's really simple and it's super cute. And I like Vileplume. And that's my top 10 list for the day. If you like my video, you can go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Or if you didn't like it, you can leave a thumbs down too. And uh, you can leave a comment if you want. Uh, you can also suggest which new videos or top tens I could do. And subscribe if you like. Alright, see you next time.